You know, I think I've taught the Christmas lesson the last several years. Routinely, I've taught Matthew and Luke, yeah. and I've never taught it from the Gospel of John. Yeah. And it's different. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot different. And uh, I'm still learning. I still don't know a whole lot. And uh, I never looked at the Gospel of John, the first chapter, as being really a Christmas story, but it is. Oh, yes. Oh, it really is. Yeah. Never looked at it like that. And uh, I like Christmas. I'm honored to uh, teach it. Yeah. And it's a privilege to teach it. Bless you, buddy. And uh, so as I've taught routinely in the past, when Christmas time comes around each year, we always see the yard decorations, house decorations, yeah. and then that you see the manger scenes, you see the wise men, you see baby Jesus in that manger. Yeah. Some people have a big shining star. And it's the same thing with Christmas cards when you receive them. Yeah. It's all those decorations they depict in their representation yeah. of what Luke and what Matthew records in right. their gospel. Yeah. And it's a wonderful way to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. Matthew and Luke gives us an earthly and realistic account of the birth of Christ. Yeah. They give us a historical viewpoint where Jesus had his earthly origins. Right. His start and his birth. They go into detail about Mary and Joseph, the angel of the Lord appearing, the wise men who followed the star, the shepherds rejoicing in the field. Right. These are all what uh, Matthew and Luke record. The books of Matthew and Luke gives us a detailed account when baby Jesus began his earthly journey. Mm -hmm. and John's gospel is different. Yeah. It's a lot different. <laughs> he didn't give us, he didn't write a synoptic gospel that's an overview uh -huh. like Matthew and Luke did. Right. He didn't cover a lot of the miracles that Matthew and right. Luke did. Right. John summed it up like this. Mm -hmm. All the miracles he did couldn't be contained during the news <laughs> in this book. He summed it up that way. Yeah. So this Christmas lesson, we're not going to have a stable, mm -hmm. no. no manger, no Joseph and Mary, no Bethlehem, no star, not even going to have a baby. Yeah. John's saying if you really want to know who Jesus is. Yeah. Yeah, Joseph and Mary's not far enough. He said, if you really want to know who Jesus is, you can go all the way back to Bethlehem, but it's still not far enough. Oh, yeah. that's right. He said, if you really want to know who Jesus is. Come on, brother. He said, you can go all the way back to David, but it's still not oh, far no. enough. Yeah. Amen. Jesus yeah. lived before Abraham was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I am. Oh, still not man. far enough. That's your heart, sir. So from this, from this Christmas story, John summed it up in some simple words to tell the story in the viewpoint of Christ. Five simple words. The Word was made flesh. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Flesh so we'll start at verse 1. Yeah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. John, the disciple who Jesus loved, walked with Jesus for three years. Now, we know he knew him before that because he was related to Jesus. And he must have seen, even at his earlier age, Jesus was a different, he was a different kid. Different from all the other rest. John was privileged to see the works of Jesus, the miracles of Jesus. He experienced and saw the love of Jesus. And much more. So after years had passed, after Jesus left, John recorded this gospel. And I have to, you have to think about John's perspective. Mm -hmm. John was a devout Jew. Mm -hmm. Acknowledging Jesus right. as God was dangerous for John. Right. Was for all of them. It's the Jews that had Christ crucified. Mm -hmm. So John would have resisted idolatry in every way. But John said this. He's fully God and calls him God and he calls him the word. Mm -hmm. Jesus called him, or John called Jesus, the Word. Right. I ask you, what is a word? Mm -hmm. A word is an expression 
of an invisible thought. You can't hear my thoughts, yeah. <laughs> but you can hear my words. Come on, buddy. And yeah. if you hear my words, Man, that's good. you'll know what my thoughts are. Mm, yeah. My thoughts are invisible, but my word makes my thoughts visible. Amen. John saying, everything God is, Jesus is. Amen. He says, everything God has, Jesus has. Praise the Lord. What God does, Jesus does. Yeah. Jesus is fully God, not Bless part God, Lord. and he's Bless not part man. Thank you, Jesus. He's not all God and no man. And he's not all man and no God. Jesus makes the invisible God visible. known to man. Hey, that word hey, makes man. the invisible known to us. That's, right. That's what a word is. Yeah. Oh, no. Jesus is the very word of God. Oh, Verse 3, all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. Oh, listen. John tells us that Jesus was in the beginning like Ronnie told us in his devotion. He tells us that Jesus was the creator God. Mm -hmm. Nothing was made that, was, that had been made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. To give you a science lesson. According to science, the speed of light is constant in the natural world. When Albert Einstein formulated his theory of relativity, he said that he was able to put it forward, this theory, only because there is one thing and only one thing in this world that is constant, and that's the speed of light. <laughs> so light is the only one thing that's constant in our natural universe. Oh, man. Jesus is the only one constant light in our spiritual realm. Yeah, yeah, amen. And I want to tell you this, light and life are inextricably interwoven. You can't have one without the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when God wanted to bring life out of chaos and creation, he said, let there be light. Yeah. And when that light appears, the seeds begin to swarm with life. Seeds begin to bud and bring yeah. forth other life. Yeah. And in this science lesson, I remember the word, didn't know much about it. Have you ever heard of the word photosynthesis? Mm -hmm. The word photo means light, and the word synthesis means to put together. Yeah. Green plants produce food by putting chemicals together with light. It's the light that causes these plants to produce food. The whole life chain of animals and humans depends on this process. Without light, we don't exist. Amen. Verse 5, And that light shineth in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. First of all, light is energy. Mm -hmm. And you know, darkness has no energy. Mm -hmm. That's right. None whatsoever. That's John said darkness could not comprehend the light. But in this world, there's always been a con conflict and a battle between light and dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even at the birth of Jesus, when King Herod went on a murder spree, wanting all baby boys in Bethlehem killed. Yeah. That darkness there was an attempt put out the light to extinguish the light but it couldn't happen right. darkness has no power against light Ronnie told this a long time ago if you want to see darkness flee flip on that light switch <laughs> you can't vacuum the darkness out <laughs> you can't blow it out <laughs> if you turn that light on yeah. so, Amen. verse 6 there was a man sent from God whose name was John the same was a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. Mm -hmm. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness to that light. Mm -hmm. That was the true light which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Jesus is the true light of the world. Amen. He's my light, and he's your light. Amen. That light's also the glory of God. That shining light of Christ yep. is God's grace and truth. Jesus was that Shekinah glory that filled the tabernacle in the temple of God in the Old Testament. And I didn't know this, light is made up, pure light is made up of seven different colors. And when you put all those seven colors together, you get that pure light. Mm -hmm. Seven 
is what the number of completion yeah. two number of perfection yeah. verse 10 he was in the world and the world was made by Come him on, Andy. bless you Lord knew him not oh God let him enjoy this so the Bible says that Jesus was in the world yeah. but he was most assuredly not of this world right he did not have his origin in this world. Mm -hmm. His birth in Bethlehem was not at the beginning of his life. No. Because he's the Lord of heaven. Amen. Because Jesus was not of this world, he is the pure and incorruptible light. Mm -hmm. yeah. In the natural world, there's nothing more pure than what light is. Light can never be defiled. <laughs> it can't be corrupted. That's right. No matter what passes through, or what it falls upon, it can be defiled or corrupted. Yeah. Light can never be defaced or contaminated. <laughs> mm -hmm. no. Mark DeBoer, you know his dad, mm -hmm. he told us when I was in the academy, he was hard on us, he brought us out in front of the big building one night, it was in the week night, if you guys can go up there and clean that hallway, take up every speck of dust, I'll let you guys go home tonight. I don't know how many of us up there with we had went and got towels and soaked them on our hands and knees, 40 some of us going down that hallway cleaning, cleaning. He said, when you're ready, send the OD over and get me and I'll come up and inspect it. He'd come up there and he'd turn that light on, or turn the lights off. He'd take one of them big mag lights and he'd roll it down the hallway and you could see dust. <laughs> not clean we did it again we did it again couldn't do it but every time he turned that light on that light exposed nice. debris oh, wow. it exposed dirt mm -hmm. you can take a light shine through one of these dirty window panes mm -hmm. that light doesn't touch that dirt no. but it exposes it no. exposes dirt yeah you can put a light through muddy water in a jar. Light shines on through it, but it doesn't touch it. Mm -hmm. It still exposes it. Yeah. But that light's still not touched by that dirt. Mm -hmm. Even the purest water flowing from the mountain becomes contaminated when it flows down. Purest looking crystals of snow that falls down has got debris on them as soon as they touch that dirt. Yeah. They're contaminated. Therefore, light, this light we're talking about, is a wonderful picture of Jesus, that light that was born into the world. Jesus exposed sin, but he was never contaminated by it. No. He could touch sinners, yeah. <laughs> but sin never touched him. Mm -hmm. He was totally undefiled. Amen. When the Bible says, calls Jesus the light of the world, it's a reminder of his sinless, stainless purity as the Son of God. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. He was the only person who could look people in the face and say, which of you can convict me of sin? <laughs> the baby born in Bethlehem was a true light, and he was a pure light of heaven. Man, oh he man. was in the world, but he was not of the world. Yeah. Verse 11 says he came into his own, and his own received him not. Oh, that's sad, isn't it? Yeah. But to as many. Jesus came to the Jewish people, his own people, mm -hmm. they had no use for him. He wasn't the kind of king they wanted. No. Even though the Old Testament prophets, the prophets had prophesied about him over and over and over, John the Baptist announced the Messiah's coming, but Jesus was not that kind of Messiah that they were wanting. So we're talking about those who refused. Let's talk about those and how you can receive him yeah. this Christmas. It's about that gift that Ronnie was talking about earlier. But as, verse 12, but as many as received him, to them he gave power to become our, the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. It's all about his name. Mm -hmm. We're to believe on his name. The name of Jesus is the key Amen. to our salvation. Amen. When Jesus was about to be born, an angel appeared to Joseph, with this command, thou shalt call his name Jesus, listen, for he shall save his people 
from their sin. Yeah. His name's Jesus. Amen. So to believe on the name of Jesus is to believe on what his name signifies, mm -hmm. the Savior. Right. Which is to believe that Jesus can save us from our sins. But we first must admit we are sinners. Right. And that we're in need of a Savior. But not only do we have to believe in his name, in the name of Jesus, and that he can save us from our sins, what Ronnie said, Jesus will send us a gift. Right. He can do all things. He's the answer to every problem Amen. that I've got. I'll realize that one day. I don't always. I take it for granted sometimes. Uh -huh. But Jesus, but God gave his only begotten son yeah. to us. But we have to receive it. Amen. You can lay it there on the altar. Mm -hmm. You can put it there in a pew and say, Andy, there it is. But if I don't go pick it up, yeah. it's not mine. Right. It's not mine to take. I've not accepted uh -huh. it. So you have to invite Jesus into your heart and accept him for who he is. Amen. So you got to believe mm -hmm. and you got to receive Jesus. Right. Our part is to believe and receive. Then God does his part and he says become. Yeah. So once we believe and receive, then God imparts new life into us, which is called a new birth. Yeah. Verse 13, which were born not of blood, nor of will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. This verse describes a new birth. It shows the new birth is not of human descent. It's not about blood. Not about our blood, anyway. And it's not of human design. It's not of the will of man. We can be baptized as a baby, do religious works, yeah. be a good moral person. That don't save us. We have to believe on the name of Jesus. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things passed away, and behold, all things are made new. Right. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Amen. Father, full of grace and full of truth. Amen. And that's my Christmas lesson. The Lord will make flesh. Amen. Bless the Lord. I'd like to tell everybody Bless Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Amen. 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 Amen.